Well, the Salvation Army is getting into the holiday spirit because the Red Kettle campaign begins today. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall is learning more about the annual fundraiser. Jeremy? Ken and Emily, right now I'm at the Festival of Foods off Copeland Avenue. Earlier, I was at the Festival of Foods off of uh, State Street, where Major Alan Hellstrom kicked off the 2023 Red Kettle Campaign. Every year, the Salvation Army partners with community members to raise money for the nonprofit organization. Every year, Scott Hall spends his holiday season ringing bells. I have some friends at work that did it, and uh, I thought it was a great thing to be doing. Each week, he joins numerous other volunteers and participates in the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign. Everybody's so congenial and happy, and uh, it's really been, it makes me feel a lot better. Today, the decades-old fundraiser took off for another year of success. Every year, the Salvation Army holds the popular fundraiser from November to December, and proceeds go toward its annual budget. The money is used to provide resources to the community and help the most vulnerable by providing meals for the holidays, along with helping families during the season. Major Alan Hellstrom has been ringing bells since he was a teenager. It teaches people to uh, get involved in the community. I've met people through the years that have told me they rang bells when they were a teenager, when they were part of the National Honor Society. And then they go on and they teach their children uh, to ring the bells. And it's just a way to learn how to give and it becomes generational. This year, Hellstrom hopes to raise $300,000. No you. cash, no problem. So we have things like tip tap, uh, where people can use their credit cards. We have the virtual kettles online. We have QR codes and uh, other ways to give uh, for the cashless society. Now the campaign goes until December 23rd to find out where you could donate or if you want to donate online, be sure to go to news8000.com. We will have a link attached to this article. Live in lacrosse, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now, Ken and Emily once again, <laughs> ringing it back to you guys. He's in the spirit. Getting into it, yep.